Watching News 10 ABC at 9 a.m. Welcome back, everyone. Veterans, as we know, they face many challenges when they return home, but mental health issues are one of the most serious. Today, I'm joined by Jimmy Thomas of the Glenville Rotary Club, who just took an incredible journey to raise awareness on this very issue. Thanks for joining us, Jimmy. Thanks. Thanks for having me. Now, you're a veteran yourself. Can yep. you tell us a little bit about your time in the service? Well, I didn't do anything special. I was in the military police four years. I went in to pay for college and did my part. Feel lucky that I got done with my part with mm -hmm. all my pieces and parts and faculties and uh, appreciate what the rest of the veterans do and um, just feel like I want to help support them because I know how important a service dog can be. And Jimmy, you're being really humble about this right now, but you went on an incredible mission. We're talking four thousand miles. You took a journey from Glenville, New York. You kayaked all yeah. the way down to Key West. And then you biked back from Key West to Glenville again to raise awareness about veteran suicide right. and also to raise money for people to get those service dogs. Why did you do it? Um, like I said, it's uh, important for veterans who I think are kind of an underserved group mm -hmm. and they um, only five percent of veterans that need a service dog have one and um, that's a little bit sad considering what, what they've given up. Mm -hmm. And so I thought, well, I'm in a good position to be able to help. I know how much, how important it is. And so a Rotary in Glenville decided to take this crazy mission on with me and they made it a lot easier than having to do it by myself. So um, it's called Doggy Paddle mm -hmm. for veterans. And uh, I, I couldn't imagine it, how much more successful it could have been on or out of the gate. I mean, talking about successful, you did it. <laughs> 130 days it took you yeah. to make this journey. What was your secret? I mean, even just fitness wise, how did you do it, Jimmy? Well, I didn't train. Really? <laughs> no, nah, I didn't train. I just figured I'd get in shape as I went, and I did. No. Yeah, I did. I lost. Can I ask how old you are, Jimmy? 61. You're 61. Yeah. And you didn't train for this, and nah, you just said. I'm doing it. What do you think it is that got you through? Uh, all the history in your life that makes you stronger or like I knew I wasn't going to quit. Everybody knows me that knew I wasn't going to quit. Um, it, it, it's just like uh, going to work every day. You just have, you know, today I got to get to the next town. And I want to pull up the map. I, um, I have this in the back right now, but I want to pull it up on the screen so people can understand. This is your journey. So yeah. as we're talking about <laughs> your stops along the way, what do you think was the hardest part of this very long trip you took? Oh, it's always, it's, it was the weather, definitely the weather. Oh. There was two hurricanes. Um, the water isn't always as nice and beautiful as you think. Uh, the water was rough. Storms in Florida just pop up. Uh, it was hot when I was in Key West all through the Keys. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, on the last couple weeks from like D.C. to here, it was 20 or below. The last day, I had a nice police escort. My eyes froze shut. Oh. And I had to stop getting in one of the police cars to thaw my eyes. What was the temperature that day when you returned home? Uh, negative 15 that day. That's Jimmy, cold. you silenced me, which is very, <laughs> is very hard to do. I'm, I'm just really amazed at this, at this journey you've taken. And not only that, along the way, you were raising money as well for right. this mission. I want to go back to that. So what is Doggy Paddle going to do? Doggy Paddle is going to help facilitate um, access to... Um, service dogs by getting trainers, veterinarians, mm -hmm. um, people who breed dogs that will hopefully donate dogs, people who understand what we're doing, help get other, you know, there's a lot of other things that they need. Some veterans may need uh, an Uber, getting back and forth to the training. Mm -hmm. Whatever it takes to get a veteran a service dog, we're willing to do that. And if someone wants to give back to your mission, where can they go? Uh, doggypaddle.org or on Facebook if they want to follow, Doggy Paddle USA. And uh, there's a lot of ways to donate and to support, so hopefully people will do that, and hopefully they'll see the cause with us, and thank you. Thank you for coming today, Jimmy. It was Thanks. incredible to hear about your journey. Thank you.